got a question for you. Seriously? Just quick. Where's that? Quick question. Why are you on your toes? Why is there a gap under your toes? I said I'm pretty sure you guys know why. <laughs> no. You have to tell them. It's going to be a video. I'm they already video. know the video because we've a done video. a video. No. They just, already know. Just tell them. Because we've done a video already. Just say this. Just say, <laughs> if you want to know why we drip the water in but cold we've environments. we've already done no, the video. In cold environments. How many we can't do the same video twice. We've already done it. What about new people need to know it? Then they can go watch the old video. Guys, I'm going to tell you why we don't need to drip the water in extreme cold temperatures. That's how it's done. Keep watching to the end of the video. Find out. I wish I was pick them, picking up the insulation, but this day it's not going to be not going to be ready for another week. It's freaking cold. We kind of our fault. We should have got the insulation a little bit sooner. Oh, 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 oh! King, uh, frozen. I don't think I'm going to take the truck today. Oh, 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 Trucky is cold. I didn't plug her in last night. Let's get a reverse. There we go. Make sure no one's behind us. Make sure the tires are locked. Ah, tires are a little frozen to the ground, guys. Put her in first. Get some torque. Oh, she's frozen. Wow. Tires are frozen. I don't think I'm going anywhere. What's the temp? How I figured warm you up, out friend? what happened. Why it froze so much? Why did it freeze in there? You know why it froze so much last night? Because yeah. the bed, the blanket was crooked. You had my side and I had your side. What's the temperature in the garage right now? It's forty-one. Forty-one in a garage. You got the heater on with the door open because it's hotter outside than inside. Somebody forgot to turn on the heater this morning in there so I could get on the treadmill because yesterday I didn't get to go on the treadmill. I would have had this insulated today, but today wasn't the day. I put a double blanket over this so it wouldn't freeze. Plus, it was plugged in with the heated hose. Did it melt? The heated hose works pretty good. No freeze ups. Oh, what are you doing? It's really cold in here, honey. I know it's cold. Look at that red nose. You're on a treadmill? Yeah. Joe, you'll find that funny. <laughs> it's like, whoa, sorry. It's like 42 degrees in there. Two little smokies. Come on, go to the bathroom. Well, I know mommy didn't take you out. No, this way. Ah, this way. The bathroom. Come on. Okay, here's the RO part. Reverse osmosis. This is a three filter system with a tank. Okay? And you put a little spigot right here. And this is pure water. It has a membrane in it. Now, the reason why I say that it's good to have an RO system in an RV in the wintertime is it takes two gallons of water to waste to make one gallon of fresh drinking water. So this is a constant drip the entire time that you're using it. That, that this is filling that tank. It's actually filling the tank. It's wasting two gallons for one gallon. So it's actually dripping water through the drain, out the drain, all the time. So it actually is running water all the time. 
Okay, take two. So basically, if you have an RO system in your RV or house, so your pipes can freeze in your house too, it's a constant drain. So you don't have to actually drip the water at night so your pipes don't freeze. Drain your RO system completely dry, shut it, and go to bed. And it'll keep trickling water. So water will always be moving through your pipes, just little by little. So it's a lot safer and a lot better than just running your water. I don't know if you guys understand that, but basically an RO system takes two gallons of water to waste down a drain to make one gallon. That's why it's good to be in an RV or a house in the wintertime. If you're a full-timer. If you're not, you kind of have to take the whole system out because it's winter, so it kind of sucks. Full-timer, it's really good to have, you know? It was like a hundred bucks for the system two years ago. Guess. Guess. Look, we still have some snow. Some snow. Some snow. That's about it, guys. We're gonna edit video. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.